the issue of the capital equipment industry in South Africa. Where are we standing and what are the major issues that are confronting the industry as we see it now? There are two major industry issues that are really, as far as I'm concerned, one is a very positive one, the other one we've got to watch. The positive one is the issue now we're getting our first of the designations through. So this gives um, an opportunity for the industry to revisit their capitalization in the future. This is very important because many of the companies in our sector have done very little in recapitalizing their businesses since the late 80s. And this affects their competitiveness internationally. What will happen if, as a result of the designation, they will also benefit internationally by having larger economies of scale. Added to that, we hope that there will be a lot of requests from the state-owned enterprises and municipalities for modifications to their current range of products, which then results in technological advantage. If it doesn't come from demanding clients, very seldom do companies actually upgrade their technology. So we actually appreciate demanding clients. The second thing that's very, very important is the issue of maintaining local supply while they're building up capacity. And for that it is very, very important for the guys to get involved with these larger state projects, working together with the consultants, etc and building up their capacity so that they can, too can apply for designation status. Once they have done that, and we have a larger cross-section of suppliers that are sustainable, not only locally but internationally, you'll find that there will be a very, very different face on the industry. One of the issues that comes out of that is that we need to build fifth, sixth, seventh tier entrance at the bottom of the industry, which is the ideal profile for new black entrance into our industry. And I have some ideas on, on how to finance that, but I would encourage more and more of the current school leavers, engineers, etc., to think about specific subsectors that they are attracted to to make an entrance into the market, but at the bottom. And when we work in clusters, we automatically include them. So they have ongoing opportunities to market their products without the very high barriers to normally positioning themselves, which is the, the thing that delays their entry into the market. On the front of the export side, there we have only really one big problem and that is that the budget for market entry is exceedingly low in South Africa. I mean we get one exhibition a year. Added to that there doesn't seem to be funding at the moment for setting up hubs. A hub is an office which represents a group of companies usually in similar or um, related industries. It doesn't only provide a post box but it also provides the opportunity to service products in that from there. Added to that it gives comfort to the market in which you are selling that you are not one of these that's just going to be a long arm seller. You are really being committed to that market. That is one of our key problems in our industry that we have no such hubs. That, and it cannot be developed by the private sector. They don't have the resources for that. It must be remembered that in the capital goods industry, our margins after tax are only around about 8%. So we don't have enough margin to put in these aspects.